Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have just filmed this Barbie inspired look. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. It's very bright and pink and vibrant. Uh, so if you would like to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first two steps are going to be the same as always. I'm going to start off with a NYX Jumbo Pencil, but this one is in the shade Strawberry Milk. Changing up from yogurt for a bit. Uh, so I'm going to put that over my lid and on my lower lash line and blend it out with a big fluffy brush. As per usual. And that just gives us a nice pink base ready to take a transition colour and a lid colour and some fun wings. So next I'm going to take the two Face Sweet Peach palettes and I'm going to go in with this shade right here which is Georgia. It's like a nice pale pinky shade and I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and run that through my lid and just blend out that bottom a little bit more with that as well. My eyebrows desperately need plucking. But uh, who has time for that really? It also... Like, people ask why I don't go and get my brows waxed or threaded, and it's because I've just had such bad experiences in the past. Like, I know they're not great now, but trust me, they are better than they were. Like, I went to one place to get them waxed, and they were just really, really thick here, and they're, like, really thin. And then I started getting them threaded, and I was really happy with it at first. Um, but it was one of them where you just kind of go, and whoever's in does them. You can, like, stick with the same girl, and a different girl does it one time. Oh, and, like... I don't know, one of them was like really thick and like perfectly straight and it was amazing and the other one it was like really thick and then it just went in a little bit thinner and then came out really thick again and it was just like, oh they were just uneven and odd and it was horrendous. So from then on I was like, do you know what, I'll just deal with these myself, like save myself the hassle. <laughs> So next I'm going to go in with this shade right here which is called Just Peachy and I'm just going to take a flat brush and put that all over my lid. Let's pack that on there quite heavy. It's such a pretty pink, pinky peach shade. It's like a pink but it's got like peachy gold reflex in it. Hope the camera picks up how pretty and like pigmented that is. And I'm just going to run that along the bottom as well. And as per usual, just blend that through with your fluffy brush. Okay, so next I'm just going to take these two shades here from the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. This one is Spectre and this one is Element. Um, so I'm just taking a mix of those two shades on this same flat brush. I've just kind of like wiped off any excess just on the back of my hand there. I'm not going to properly like spot clean it. Um, so I'm just picking up a little bit of both of them very lightly and I'm just going to tap them over that other pink colour. Just to add like a little bit of shimmer to the lid. Probably going to go in with more of Spectre, which is the paler shade, just in the centre. Just to make it pop a little bit. And believe it or not, that is literally all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. In sticking kind of true to the Barbie inspired, I want my eyes to be really simple. I am going to add blue liner because um, my eyes are not blue, so I wanted to bring that blue element into it. And then we're literally just going to throw some lashes on and move on to the face because it is. It's just nice and simple, sticking with that Barbie style. So I'm going to start off with my Tarte Manita liner and I'm just going to put that in my waterline. So you could use a white eyeliner here, either would work. Um, but I don't really like white eyeliner in the waterline. I just I don't know, I feel like it's a bit pointless. I prefer black, I just prefer how my eyes look, but that is completely your choice. So once that's done, we can move on to the fun part. So for this today, I am using this blue eyeliner from Tarte Cosmetics. This is a clay pot in the shade Cobalt. So I love this. Mine arrives, I don't know if you can see, a little bit dodgy. I think I was from America, so whereas it should have been nice and flat, it kind of all fell to one side of the thing. Um, I don't know, it was really random. But this is what we're working with. And again, just taking my really thin... So we have an eyeliner brush, so I'm just going to start by putting the liner on my lid, then I'll, you know, wing it out and then join it together as per usual. So next I'm just adding my lines, making sure they're even, and then filling them in. Put some really attractive faces while I'm doing eyeliner. 
So now that those wings are on, that is literally it for the eyes. I am just going to throw some lashes on really quickly off camera. And then I will be back to do my face makeup, which is going to be a little bit different today. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm back, lashes on, face cleans, moisturiser on, I'm going to jump straight in with my Too Faced Hangover Oryx or Hangover X, whatever you want to say, primer. Smells delightful. Then moving on, I am taking my NYX HD Concealer in CW03 to colour correct. I feel like you guys know the drill by now, like the basics of my face prep routine. It's not something I change up very often. Just did. So today I'm going to add something slightly different as well. I am taking these Glow Drops from Topshop. These are in the shade Phoenix. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit, literally like the tiniest amount. I'll show you what I'm putting on. Just literally that amount on my beauty blender. Um, I'm just going to put that like on my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose before I put foundation on just to add a little bit of extra glow. They are so pretty. That little nose highlight. <laughs> Next, going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, as per usual, a little bit on the back of my hand. Doss it around. Small sections at a time. Get it rubbed in. Blend it up with your beauty blender. Next, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer in CW01 just to uh, highlight under my eyes and a little bit just at the very top of the bridge of my nose. And I'm just blending that out with my damp beauty blender. So once that's done, I'm just going to set that very lightly with a little bit of my NARS Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Just a literally the tiniest bit under my eyes. Just on those little oily areas. So for this video, I don't want to contour very heavily. Just add a little bit of definition to my face, then um, my cheeks. So I'm just taking my NARS Matte Multiple, as per usual, putting it on the back of my hands to warm it up. And then I'm just going to take a um, contour brush from Zoeva. Well, it's a cream cheek brush, but it's a contour. And just ever so slightly, like just add a bit of definition to this area, very lightly. And that's literally all I'm doing in the way of contour. So next I'm going in with bronzer. This is my new look bronze bronzer. And I'm just putting a little bit of this on this um, fluffy brush. Tapping the excess off. And I'm just going to bronze over like my face. Just bronze it up a little bit. So now that all nice and sun kissed. I'm going to go in with blusher. And I am going to use this NARS Orgasm blusher. Um, just with this little brush. This is very pigmented. So you only need like a tiny little bit. Well, we won't really pink cheeks because we're Barbie, but like, if you were wearing it on a daily basis, maybe chill out with it a bit. And I'm just going to swirl that on the apple of my cheeks. I hope you can see how nice and pink this looks. It's very pink compared to blusher that I normally use. I, I actually got this because it was like the limited edition. So moving on to highlights, I am going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Dust Palette. Um, I can't, can't show you the shade that I'm using. I'm using the shade Pink Heart. Basically, when mine arrived, these two shades were broken. I've just, like, spilled loads of it all over the floor. That's really upsetting. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to take a fan brush and some Pink Heart and just swell it in there. It's literally going everywhere because it's already crumbled. And just put that on my cheeks. I look very pink. And also just down at the tip of my nose and down the bridge... I'm taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to put that on my um, brow bone and my cupid's bow as well. So I'm just going to go back in with that same brush that I used for my bronzer and just kind of go over where I put like, the blusher and the highlight on just to tone it down a little bit. Um, just so that it's not like too pink. I mean, can you have too much pink? I think not, but just making sure everything's nice and blended. Um, I'm not going to bake today, I'm just going to add some setting spray now and then we'll do lips. So for setting spray, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. When I first got this, I didn't like love it, but now it's like one of my favourite setting sprays. You've just got to 
persevere. You just gotta persevere with products sometimes. Like sometimes they might not work for you initially, but then the more that you use them and like you'll learn how to make them work for you, basically. If that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so moving on to lips, I'm gonna start off with this NYX lip liner in the shade Disco Rage. And once that's on, I am gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Rio and just finish it off with that on top. And once you have done that, that is it for this video. Um, I had a lot of fun filming this. I just love going like creative and mad with colour. I feel like I say that in every video, I'm like a broken record. Um, but it's just so much fun like having pink cheeks and pink highlights and pink lips and blue eyeliner. Like it's just so fun and I definitely feel very Barbie-ish. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, also turn on your little notification bell so you get notifications whenever I post and you'll never miss me acting like an idiot on camera. Um, which I'm sure none of you want to miss, right? Right? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!